my mom introduced a lady from Delta for me to marry. But there is something about this lady. Not only that she seems to be pretending to be a good girl around my mom, she so she can win her heart. But my son would always cry when he set his eyes on her. My mom keep convi- keeps convincing me to marry her. Please, I need answers. Do I get, do I go against my will and that of my son and get married to this lady to make my mom happy? Again, I would say I know this. You, for, for for those of you who are watching this for the very very first time, you probably will believe these are emails that were received. Okay, emails that were sent into the show. Um, they are real life scenarios. This thirty four year old um, single dad who is a widower, all right, has a mom that wants him to marry a girl from Delta State. He's from Kogi State, yeah. okay, in Nigeria. And he's saying that he does not trust the lady because when the lady comes around and meets his son, the son is always crying. Right, yeah. And he feels that the lady is just pretending to win the, the mother at over. Yeah. Okay. But he said his mom is insisting that he should marry this um, the the woman lady. in question. So, yeah. so he's asking for advice. Does he get married to the lady to make his mom happy? Or does he go against his will and that of his son? Tell me, I do you are in the comments. I won't. It would be I'm not going to allow you go first on this one because I have a feeling that if if you go first on this, so you're going to conclude on this, okay? I have a feeling if you go first on this, and the reason why I have that because I can see you backstage laughing. Um, I remember the last show we did. If you haven't had time, um, please go and watch it. It's it's on YouTube live. The show in which um, why do relationships die in the West or so? Yeah. And it gave us our thoughts on on the male-female dynamic that happens outside Nigeria, okay? Piap, you can watch it, you can watch, you can watch the show. It's wonderful submission, all right? Wonderful submission all around. So yeah, the thoughts on this, want to hear your thoughts. What's your advice for this person? Should this person go ahead? Before we take your thoughts, let's quickly, just quickly go to the comment section and read a couple of comments. Okay. So can you read the comments, please? Okay, uh, Mr. Femi Adegoke said, um, Please go against your mom. <laughs> and it's, we crying emojis then. Chimsy Comfort said, no, marry the lady. <laughs> marry the lady. Oh. Then P- Peter said, Mr. Femi, this is your update. Where did, where did you get this statistic from? Because I strongly disagree. Okay. Okay. First class said, your child keeps crying whenever he sees the woman. Guy, run, no. Oh. My heart before a third party, please. Okay. So, so we'll bring, we'll bring Miracle in. So it will be, you, you, you would have, you have the, you have the right of, um, last counsel on this. So you're going to give the last counsel on this. So we'll bring everybody in. Okay. The first thing we have to understand the meaning of marriage. You are not getting married to make your mom happy. That's one thing. So the main, the main reason for marriage is for you and your partner to be happy, give birth to children and all that. And now your question is, to make my mom happy, should I get married to the person to make your mom happy? Guy, this is about your own happiness, not your mom. Because at the end of the day, she's not going to be in the, home, in the house with you. And your child is obviously crying and you can see all these things. So the best thing is make your own decision. The decision is yours. The person you got married to first before she eventually died, it was your decision, not your mom's. And your mom does not have any matter in your own business. You are grown up already. I mean, you have a child. You are already grown up to make your own decisions of who you want to marry. You are old enough to make your own decisions of who you want to marry. So, and the, just imagine the thought of seeing your your child crying at the presence of another person. It's not right. I mean, you have to marry for love, not because of your mom said. Come on now, we are grown ups. So that's it. Just... Okay, cool. So, so um, I'm, I'm going to quickly say this. Um, we see a couple of comments in the chat. Let's just quickly um, give a couple of... Let's just quickly go to the chat. First part says, your mom won't be on the house when you eventually marry the lady. She gave pro mat, and your mom won't see it because she loves the lady. Okay? Chimsy Comfort is saying, thank you, Miracle. Chimsy Comfort is saying, the signs are already there. Do you disagree, Gabriel? Oh, no, 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 I, I don't disagree. Uh, he's a grown man, so you should make his own decision. You can't, you can't, you can't say because your mom, you want to make your mom happy, then you don't want to make your own self happy. So, what we have to say is correct. Okay, so you, so you are in agreement with Miracle. Um, yep. Okay, so, so we'll come to, we'll come to a bit. But Femi, I think, okay, we can see you in the chat. So Femi, just 
come on the live join let's have your thoughts on this um People so i'm going to don't know why we're going to give um <laughs> your thoughts see eh? <laughs> mothers should learn to rest they should take a cheap pill let their children choose who they want not for themselves alone for their own children they should rest for me my advice to that young man is he should marry a lady who pleases his baby because as a woman when you're marrying a single dad the first thing you should know is you are automatically becoming a mother for that child first and you need to accept that child as your own before you give birth to yours so where there is no responsibility of acceptance then there's nothing working at all and if it if the man has not seen any signs of um, responsibility acceptance from that lady then it is dead before even starting because that child would suffer in the marriage the innocent child is going to suffer and whether the man likes it or not she's in the house now she has a call in the house what she says stands also even if he thinks he's the head now if a child is crying when a particular person comes around him or her then we should beware of those people or we should take a, a second look at them for the child to keep crying whenever this lady comes around him it shows so many things. The pretense is just too much. The pretense. What if it the is... child is just crying and, you know, you know children now. Probably maybe they are seeing a new face and all. Which new face? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, let me, let me, let me, just, let me, let me come in at this point. Um, I guess everybody's, everybody's in unanimous agreement that this particular <laughs> person, everybody's in agreement except that. Except Mr. Peter. Except Mr. Peter in the community. Except... Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter says that this woman they cap for this our culture, the woman perceives him as a threat already. He's, a, he's in agreement with her now. No, before he was saying that the child is just crying. <laughs> okay, Mr. Peter said the child is constantly crying. <laughs> Are you saying she's pinching the, pinching the innocent kid? Oh, <laughs> wicked.